He's got ultimate revenge on Lindsey Vaughn, who trashed him. She could be out of the Olympics by Amanda Shea for Freedom Daily. The last 48 hours have been particularly rough for Olympic alpine skier Lindsey Vaughn ever since she decided to use her public platform to slam our president. She's suffered the recourse of that really bad decision. She should have learned from the immense fallout in the NFL but refused to. Now Donald Trump has just gotten the ultimate revenge on the athlete who could be forcibly removed from the 2018 Olympics. Her goals of coming home with another gold medal have just been shattered by her own doing and it didn't take too long to realize the ramifications. It's strange how athletes have no problem using Trump to bring attention to themselves by making such bold public statements for how much they hate him. What's even bolder is that they never seem to learn their lesson and can't stop themselves from slandering him regardless of the massive ramifications. The latest, quote, victim of, his stu of this stupidity is Vaughn, who just got what she earned when she opened her mouth and said, well, I hope to represent the people of the United States, not the president, according to CNN less than 24 hours after her boycott of her sponsors was initiated, Vaughn suffered a bigger, devastating blow. Reuters reports American Lindsey Vaughn was injured after finishing the World Cup Super G race in Saint Mar San Moritz on Saturday, while Switzerland's uh, Laura Gutt crashed halfway down the course. Vaughn, four times overall World Cup champion and the finest woman skier of her generation, fell to the ground, grimacing as she slowed down after the finishing line as she staggered away with what appeared to be either a hip or back injury. Vaughn spent uh, just under an hour in the medical treatment tent before being escorted to a waiting car and driven away. The 33-year-old walked the few meters to the car with great difficulty. An ambulance was initially called but was not needed. The U.S. team said on Twitter that Vaughn compressed her back on the fifth gate, skied through pain, but didn't have the power to push. She was evaluated by the physio and doctor in the tent. Further information to come in an unfortunate injury that could prevent her for, uh, from participating in the Winter Olympics, which some are seeing as nearly instant karma for coming out and attacking Trump in her initial interview. Vaughn is no stranger to pain and recovery, having just spent the last couple years rehabilitating, training, and getting in condition for this Olympic competition after enduring major injuries from her last race. This is the second blow to the gold medalist this week suffered in the immediate aftermath of her uh, tactless remarks about President Trump. Fans are already responding to the comments in the same way they did to the national anthem kneelers in the NFL. A trending hashtag, hashtag boycott Under Armour, has already picked up a lot of steam since she made her anti-Trump statements We've already seen that this is more than words. Pro-Trump Americans will adamantly stand by our president and do exactly as they say they will. Boycott a brand, a sport, an event, and anything else that condones anti-American attitudes. So Under Armour wants to attract more hashtag boycott Under Armour attention with Lindsey Vaughn. Okay, you got it. Hashtag boycott Under Armour. Another user by the name The Warden, quote, posted, If Red Bull, Under Armour, Hershey's, and a list of other big brands she represents wants to save their good names, they better get this alpine skier to leave politics out of the sport. It's not going to end well for her or these sponsors if she continues down this steep path. Nor is it worth wasting everything she's worked hard at accomplishing to say such disgusting things. 
It's truly astounding these talented athletes are willing to risk so much just to say something stupid. Let's also not forget that Vaughn is really not in a position to criticize others who she considered to be morally depraved, as, other com as one commenter on Breitbart's story pointed out. Nude photo shooting Lindsay, who dated drug uh, uh, addicted, I guess, philandering Tiger Woods, now appoints herself a paragon of American virtue? You want to shoot your mouth off and enter politics, baby? Run for office. You want to suck my tax dollars on the Olympic team and represent me? You keep your mouth shut and focus on skiing. Maybe you can win a medal for a change. The Olympics is a time and place where Americans come together and root for the same team. That should have been the message that Vaughn shared going into the games instead of a divisive one. It's proof that despite her claim of Trump being the divider, they are truly the ones preventing opposing sides from mending as they perpetuate the hate. So absolutely true. So absolutely true. Well, God has a mysterious way of working things out. Anybody that goes against Trump, that was God's will. That's what I think. You could see what's happening to her now. Oh, well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.